Hi Scorpio and welcome to your April 2016 love reading. I know I mess with my hair, it's so weird. Okay, interesting reading, really interesting reading. Um, yeah, there was a history with someone who was an air sign, swords, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini rising. Um, and that's over. And you have had a little fun, I think, in the beginning of April. I can show a card really fast, but I worry about kids looking. And then second week, you're kind of, I want to say, eh, morning over. That's that's morning over the past. And see, sword sign. That represents to me maybe a uh, air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Second week, um, around the second and third week. This is basically your frame of mind. You're wanting to jump on a horse and take off in your romantic frame of mind and run away and live a fantasy and I'd show you that one for going into the fourth week but you're really wanting to take a path a brand new path and this is a great big thing she's clinging to representing that new path so or the ace of wands um, but there's a concern Somebody's kind of got control. If you can see, her hand isn't on top of the blankets. I think that's that past you need to let go. Because then, you kind of are having fun here towards the end of the week, or month, visiting. Well, you got the magic to make it happen. You got all kinds of people vying for your attention. Let's put it that way. And you're just kind of timid to the, do I even want to deal with this right now anymore? I'm just nervous because of what's, what's already taking place. And you, the two of wands in this little book here, I'm going to look real quick because it's kind of new. This is, by the way, my Decameron Tarot. Super cool. Very dirty. Good for uh, love reading. Um, what was I? Two of Wands. Okay. So that says, shyness, first experience. Now, obviously, everyone's first experience isn't happening before or at this reading, but um, when I had a look at that, it looked to me like, okay, there's offers of love coming. You know, you're busy or you can't decide. You're looking into the future. I like this because you've got in your hand and you can, uh, there, he's facing this person too. So you can pretty much, you got control of your love life as usual, Scorpio. So you can take them or leave them, push them. They'll still come running back half the time. And you're trying to get work done, catch up. And I hate that that comes into these sometimes, but it's reality. So um, at one point you did have this. <sighs> Pisces Ace of Cups try to come in and start a new love. He's trying to throw her down in a position or a place where he can fill his void. And then there is the Nine of Pentacles. And that is a woman laying back on the bed. And the meaning of the Nine of Pentacles for this deck says a pleasant surprise positive and long-lasting situation so that's heading into the four of wands card and the four of wands is the place let's see here harmony peace and purification you're looking for completion I wish I could show you this is a really good card for women especially um, it's completion you kind of brought it all together you brought your harmony in your home and you decided what you want. And you had the, the Pisces, um, Cancer, Scorpio on your mind. But, and maybe it is. I also saw a Wands card, but we'll get to that. 
So you just don't want to rest on your laurels, the emperor, when this is all going on, of course. It says, power comes from old age. Don't be ashamed by younger adore, because old age truly sets in when we no longer love. So don't close yourself up. Open yourself up. Have a good time. Heal. Okay. Temperance says the swords issue that has charged in here and there and in the past, which is the Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, just kind of move forward. And then it looks like a Knight of Wands comes in, who could be a fire sign, Sag, Aries, or Leo, rising moon, or sun, and a yes card. And then the, the Knight of Cups again. So, and here was the Wands and a Yes card. So, angels, can you give us a little further reading? The Chariot, an important achievement, self-discipline and willpower, public recognition, contentment, peace and abundance, and a happy home life. You've gotten that twice. Fear surrounding money. Eh, we're going to throw that over there. This is a love reading. Look at all the beautiful color in there. Yeah. And then there's some real fun. I love this lady. i got to show this lady. The Empress. She's going to have a good old time doing whatever she wants because she is just loving life right now. So at the end of April, let it just fly. Have a great time. Enjoy people. Connect with others. And just have a great month. So I hope you enjoyed your reading, Scorpio. If you do, please remember to like, because I'm trying to get an idea as to if I should put out more or not. Um, so like or don't like, whatever you choose. And thank you so much for listening to Josie K. And if you would like to contact me for a reading, please do at josiek42 at gmail.com. Have a great day.